Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the continuation of Dave the Diver here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. So, quite soon enough, we're going to have a tuna event, which means that this is probably the last day when I might be able to capture more tuna fish. And also, I'm going to have to check on my rice farm to see if I will have white rice for the specific dish for Michael Bang, another VIP that is about to arrive to Bancho Sushi Restaurant. So, a lot of things have been happening. I have been going to the underwater village of the Sea People in order to fulfill more and more of their quests. And uh, so, yeah, uh, we battled a large crustacean crab. So, that was fun. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna check on all things. We, yeah, we also had the, this weird dream for this guy, which was just really weird. It was like some sort of concert or something. And I went nighttime fishing, trying to capture some more species of things. So that was interesting as per usual. And we were able to pick up this cool new gadget, which is this sort of drone that is able to carry out these larger species of fish from the ocean so they are not in my inventory and therefore they're kind of maintain a better quality of meat or something so yeah that's pretty interesting stuff i kind of want to hold on to more money in order to get the salvage drone to even a higher quality so i will be able to take away three times these species so i would be for example right now able to use it twice on tuna or some shark so yeah and uh, like slicing apart a tiger shark and things like that 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 stuff takes up a lot of space in your inventory and thanks to a new patch or a new feature i'm able to now like kind of manage which things i'm able to maintain in my cargo hold so yeah but overall going to the 125 cargo would be absolutely amazing so i'll definitely try to do stuff in regards to that with our cook stuff i have no idea where we currently are and if i qualify for even higher rank so we can probably rank up no, we cannot. So, uh, we need two more dishes to be researched. We need even better taste and we need even more followers. So, that's gonna be that. And uh, my page, I, I, I don't know. It's like a terrible photo of a cat or something. You can't really move to the other photos. So, that sucks. But okay. It seems like that's Bancho Sushi profile pictures or something so people are really liking the stuff that we are serving and nice to see people hard at work late so yeah pretty pretty awesome stuff we had jellyfish event already so that was able to provide us some benefits but now of course i'm gonna try to get my hands on all the other stuff so it seems like if i get orange starfish I'll be able to fill another research step. And I also need a pink shell. So that's going to be something. Okay, so let's let's check on the rice paddy. Let's check on other things. If we have farm now, that's going to tell me that we're still growing. The nutrition is at 85. I'm not really sure how to increase it. But let's check on the farm. See how it's going. We're not really losing that much time for diving. Uh, it seems like one day is when we're going to be done with this. So that's awesome. Nutrients. I don't know how to provide fertilizer for this. So that's going to be something interesting. But if I'll get the rice and if I would get like three or more out of each, that should be equal to like 15 potential rice. And rice is essential for a bunch of things. I don't know if Bancho would be able to actually prep the meal for one of the sea people in order to help them get better. I want to feed the cat because there's apparently like even an achievement for this. And if we like train staff to like level 20 or something, it's going to be even better. 
pearl porridge, something I've made before. Yes, there's another sexy person. Here's the ingredients. All right, hand it over to me. I absolutely love the animations in here. <laughs> the junk is all in space. Oh, man. So hopefully this did not waste too much of our time and we will be able to continue. So it still seems like it's morning time, so I should be able to continue working and do the diving. And I want to check the fish farm because I have been able to acquire quite a lot of krill or eggs. So let's take a look. We even have a freaking tuna swimming around in here. So small spotted darts, small spotted darts, fried egg jellyfish. We have a white tip reef shark and blue fin tunas. I would need to have, however, uh, multiple tunas in here so that I am able to send them off to the restaurant. So, um... We can theoretically hold on to some of these, and we can sell off the rest of them. Uh, white leg shrimp. Uh, we can send some of these to kitchen. And uh, I'm not really sure how valuable this fish is, so let's sell some of it. We're gonna leave the rest as is. Definitely don't want to sell them all because there's the tuna. And if I would be able to get more tuna, that would be absolutely awesome. Holy crap, we have a tiger shark in here. White trevally is essential for some of the dishes. Black track, the tiger shrimp too, mackerel, no. Harlequin and the coral trout, those were valuable. Holy crap, we have a tiger in here. That's awesome. The thing is, I don't know how much more fish density is 68, total allowed 17. We can upgrade these things in order for them to hold more fish. Let's check depth of 250. Okay, so we have some interesting stuff in here. We have grilled shark, fang tooth, and the Pacific fanfish. The, the Pacific fanfish alone is absolutely awesome. And so the fact that we have the uh, Pacific fanfish, two of them, that can mean that they will make more babies. The Megamouth shark, that's a tricky one. And also some of the other, like the ghost shark, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name. It's in Latin. So screw that noise. Let's see how much are the upgrades. If I would wanna go open area of night, that's 1000 alone. So if I would invest into it, uh, it's an interesting idea because there would be stuff like marae eel and such things would be possible. Expand fish farm, expand the space to fish farm on the selected area for more fish can be grown. I don't know why the others are still locked. Uh, let's buy it. And I want to also buy this. So theoretically I need to make one grand in order to get my hands on the uh, higher quality storage. So that would be awesome. And I think we're going to take the shortcut to the Sea People Village directly. So that I can hand over the porridge. Fulfill that as a quest. Because if we do quests and commissions throughout the blacksmith shop. the there We are apparently able to sell things through there. And so that thing alone should allow me to then make uh, some money even in here. Because currently, majority of the funds that I'm able to acquire is through gambling, which is not the most fortunate thing. Oh, you're back. My friend had something we could use. In that case, please start working on it immediately, Dave. Uh, so let's try to fix the crack. Kind of screwed up the start there. I haven't done any soldering in a while. 
especially when it comes to the mini game, not, not in real life, I would not be qualified to solder so. This is not looking too stable. I don't know if this is gonna hold. So the hand is back. What well, looks completely undamaged? Phew! Looks like I managed to glue it on quite well. Thank you so much, Dave. We won't forget this. Why do we keep getting those tremors? They seem to be coming at shorter intervals. Oh, King Long, please protect our village. So apparently on the previous episode, we got a uh, like mission or something where this door in the back, which leads into this sort of iceberg, is like leading to some ancient portion of the uh, village where there's some sort of weird tree that has roots in the sort of geothermal area and that's what keeps powering everything and so it's assumed that that's where the tremors keep coming from so who knows but okay we've done one thing let's see a hunt spider crab uh get some nautilus and uh, they want fossils. I don't have the skull apparently. So we can probably accept some of these missions to, in order to make money. But when it comes to the fossils themselves, that uh, creatures will help us uncover cause of the tremors. Yeah, sure, I'll accept all of them. Please don't tell me you kids lost the ball again. Where could Maro have gone? Something is wrong? Oh, human actually, Maro disappeared. I'm sure Maro went to Underwater Lake, I'm sure. Underwater Lake? Yes, it's a mystical and beautiful place. Tenzin told us not to go. There's a frightening monster there. The thing is, Maro said there's a crack that we could fit through. I didn't go because I was afraid I could get scolded, but I think Maro went alone. What a troublemaker. Where is this place? It's closed off with a door in front of it so that no one can get in, but there should be a guide sign nearby. The, high, uh, the sign has this kind of writing on it. Please bring Maro back. Tenzin will be furious. Okay, I'll try looking. A sign with language of the sea people. So we're picking up commissions, picking up missions, doing things in order to make money. Let's see, we can give the porridge to this knucklehead. Hopefully he's gonna eat it. Oh, this is... It's coral porridge. You should eat it and rest. How can a human make our food? Put it there and go. I have to check if it's poisoned. What an unreasonable sea person. Whatever. So I'll probably have to check on him. I should be thankful for the porridge. Next time. Okay, let's see if there's more missions, commissions. Definitely saw something at the castle. With the gambling, I would need to capture a new seahorse. So that's unfortunate. Because the stats of the one which I have, which is the zebra one. Uh, his stats just keep going down. So it was much higher. I don't know what I can do in order to increase it. I would want to race something. I just don't know if I would be good at it. So let's go. Uh, I don't know. I could probably call up the beluga. For it to take me. It only costs like four of the currency. Oh damn. This thing I have to control. Does it go through the portal with me? Uh, it seems to do that. Whoa, it's a little funky. Okay, thank you, buddy. Let's see what they have to say in here.
Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people storage. The glacier passage key is in that place. Suwan will guide you. Godspeed. Oh, I thought you fled, human. Suwan, the best warrior of sea people, will guide you to the place. Follow me. Okay. Well, someone's a little bit of full of themselves, all things considered, but sure, I'll play along. Here, human, go bring me the glacier passage key. Mm. So, deering and dark, why is this place locked away? Oh. I'm not sure. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up somewhere, though. Oh. I heard the insane ones attack the other sea people. Oh. But that was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Oh. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Are you coming with me? Oh. I'm the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such mundane task? Oh. I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. Mm. I knew you wouldn't, you wouldn't go in. You was. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you are ready, human. Uh, so yeah, screw that. And uh... So Nautilus is something which was requested of me, I think, for some of the commissions. It's one of the stupid fish. I unfortunately don't want to capture the fanfish now because I have the rifle of tier 2 so the quality of the meat would just be worse and it takes 3 freaking rounds so that alone is quite horrible I think I will just discard it. It's not worth it with the uh, lowered quality overall. But I keep the rifle now because uh, one main reason is I had a lot of boss battles and I've just tried something different. But the net gun is definitely a better thing to use overall. If I will be able to get the Nautilus. Take the flashlight, thank you. If I'll be able to get the Nautilus. I honestly don't even care about the jellyfish here. Okay, so cookie cutter shark. takes two rounds of the upgraded weapon still a little disappointing but we can upgrade this even further until it reaches like third tier okay so we have now higher stats any different C star There's a cooking ingredient in here. I definitely need the fragments. Uh, again with the turmeric. There's a seahorse, uh, spotted seahorse. I don't think it's gonna have better stats. Lots of oysters. Don't know if this knucklehead is gonna be able to attack me here. Definitely will pick up this oxygen tank. Because the oxygen serves as a form of HP bar here. So once you ran out, you're screwed. That's like the one thing which you try to make sure that does not happen simply. It's that, that basic of a concept. Oxygen is HP. Who would have thought? So I can theoretically try to go in here to see what the hell is up there. 
Besides these seahorse. You know, sometimes I get quite frequently lost in here. And trying to like reach certain locations, it's tricky. Uh, deep storehouse, it's creepy. I need the rice for a bunch of sea crabs. I feel like they're just in a different spot. How the hell did I miss this fragment? I don't know. So eventually the dives keep getting longer and longer and that's why I keep usually publishing as of late, especially the episodes that are just like day long because before I was able to do like two days because I was just able to cram in more stuff. But not anymore, it seems. No idea where the hell I am. Okay, this must be the sign of the uh, underwater lake that Sea People children were talking okay. about. Sid Murrow hasn't returned yet, right? Maybe I'll follow the sign. And also crush the damn thing and maybe fight even the shark. It's like a large quantity of the crabs, so I will be able to crush those knuckleheads. Unfortunately, by crushing them in such fashion, uh, you bring down the quality of the meat all the way down, so that's really unfortunate. I'm trying to be careful, especially because there's that large freaking shark. I can't pick up the ammunition and all that jazz and dispose of it, but I would rather use the drone uh, to actually carry out the carry out the tunas so I might have to kill this knucklehead just don't want to get too damn close because otherwise it will suck in the water and uh, yeah 11.5 kilos is a ridiculous quantity i mean just the two slices with the bunch of stuff i was able to pick up previously got me all the way to 48 kilos so i'm almost at like i'm definitely over the halfway point of my carry capacity so that's where the drone is so useful but if there's like a school of five tunas then obviously it's better for me to hold on to whatever drone I can because I don't know if there's gonna be tuna season all the time okay this is the door to underwater lake the crumbled rocks are blocking the way looks like we need pickaxe let's look around great so in one of these crates Rather be a pickaxe, preferably over here. Beautiful, how convenient. Thank God I have all this plot armor. Okay, great, all the rocks are gone now. Let's go inside and find her. Maybe this means a boss battle. I just wonder what sort of creature can be in here. I'll use up the oxygen out of the oyster. I have one spare oxygen tank. That's a lot of spikes. One current will push you through all this and you are torn to shreds. This is one efficient natural cheese grater, I would say. Ooh. Wow, this must be the underwater lake. <laughs> to see a lake under the sea, it's really amazing. Okay. Maybe I should take a photo. Take a picture. I usually suck at these, so don't laugh if I F it up. Uh, 
Okay, let's restart. Underwater lake, avoid the fog. How am I supposed to avoid the fog when the fog is all over the damn place? Okay, apparently now I've done it. Of course I must have triggered something. What was that sound? I still have four rounds in my rifle. There's more oxygen, so I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Is that? <laughs> oh, human, you came to rescue me. I'm here to rescue you, but what is this monster? I was just here to take a look at the lake. That's when. How is it so conveniently waiting for us to have a conversation and it's not tearing into her? Goblin shark. Okay, so just based on the. Teeth. This is a fish eating shark. But okay, uh, this is a problem. Looks like I have to find a way. Don't get hit. Okay, three, three hits and we move on to the next stage. I need to pick up the ammunition. and quick and convenient yeah with the net gun it would not work so easily uh so maybe i'll try to hold this sucker out through with the drone apparently not apparently i have to slice up this sucker like that oh damn it kid you could have gotten us in so much trouble what's in here just for the Ooh, lightning triple axle. Damn. What is this? Ammo box. Who <laughs> barely defeated it. Oh, thank you, human. Why are you in such a dangerous place? Well, I wanted to see the underwater lake. Get a load of this kid. Anyway, let's go back to the village. Knucklehead. Mara, I was worried about you. I'm sorry I've been wanting to go. How was it? Was it beautiful? Was there really a lake in the water? I took a photo. Do you want to see it? Whoa, it's amazing. Wow. I know you're disappointed, but be satisfied with the photo. There were dangerous monsters there. Okay. Anyway, thank you for saving me. I won't leave the village now. Great, it almost took you being torn to shreds by a freaking goddamn goblin shark in order to get some sense into you. Uh, still have to deal with the quests. So let's leave the village. I'm at 49 kilos, so already most of my capacity is gone. Let's see, there's the commission. Oh, there are no customers today. The thing is, there was a seaweed collector named Tsuchi. The collector provided seaweed to our restaurant. However, Tsuchi hasn't been coming by. So we're out of ingredients and can't accept any customers. Oh no, is there a way to contact Tsuchi? I have the key to Tsuchi's house, but I can't just leave the restaurant. How did you get the key? Oh, Tsuchi had a large pet turtle. I used to go feed it from time to time. <laughs> Dave, can you go for me instead? Oh, it must be tough to not be able to open your restaurant. I'll try going there. Can you tell me where it is? The thing is, it's kind of hard to explain because the train keeps on changing. The turtle eats so many jellyfish. Maybe there are traces nearby. Oh, strange. I'll try looking for it. Finding seaweed collector. Seems to be even commission in here with our uh, seed merchant. 
Where is the book? Which book? Oh, human, good to see you. There's a book that contains the famous world of words of King Long. I can't find it. I wanted to read it in the evening while resting. Where is it? Remember? I remember borrowing it. Borrowing it from where? From uh, Niamo's temple, of course. The temple has many books about the history of doctrine of sea people. Oh, human, can you borrow another book from the temple for me while I look around? It's called There are mutant sea people in the basement and as king I can't just stand by. I must do something volume 2. That's a long ass title. Uh, it's a novel that describes King Long's great battles. Anyway, please borrow the book for me from the temple. I borrowed volume 1 before so Niamo should know. Okay, this quest I should be able to do fairly easily because... I just have to go to the portal. Uh, and use the sub. The thing is, probably if I would use the mirror, it would count as one dive completed, so I don't really want to return to the boat. Now, I don't really know what gear do I need for that specific dive. God damn it, this little shrine is a little bit annoying. So let's see if I can borrow that book. Definitely faster to move around with the beluga, but it costs money. Oh, human, what brings you here? The owner of the sea shop told me to borrow a book. The title, it was very long. I forgot it. I understand. Kazan always reads strange books. Yamo, I wanted to uh, told you that would you know which one was it uh, previously borrowed do you remember it's a book about Kazan borrowed it might be the one of these three uh, uh, there's a picture of zombie like sea people and the king fighting on the cover looks like fun uh, maybe this book how about you take it with you? Yes, that would work best, thank you. Uh, please come by anytime. May King Long's protection be with you. Please tell me that this is the damn book. This is why I don't understand that the portal will only take you to the um, Emperor's castle, but not to the temple as well. Look, like, it's a one-way trip. Okay, let's see if I got the right book. Ah, this book. This is the one. There are mutant sea people in the basement and the kink I can just stand by and must do something. Volume 2. Great job on finding it. Haha, <laughs> awesome. I'll read it in the evening while drinking some seaweed wine. Okay, uh, so it's not really a gift, but please take this. Is it a seed? Was it? What is it? It's a very flavorful seaweed seed that grows in our village. Oh, might be a bit difficult to grow on the farm. <laughs> Human facilities. Eh. Try go going to villager farmer Gumo. If you're lucky, Gumo might be able to help you grow the seaweed. Okay, so apparently I've read something about this might be a little bit buggy with the farming underwater. I'm not really sure because I'm playing this for the first time ever. I'm still amazed at how much content there is still to go through. So that alone is pretty damn amazing to me. And of course, whatever I play through, I record and I publish it on the channel. So please, you see what sort of gamer I am. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we need to do better. Uh, I've been lately publishing a lot of this game, but I really enjoy it. It's kind of fun, relaxing thing. You asking me if I can harvest seaweed? Well, it can be harvested in the seaweed farm behind me, but I don't want to do it for a human. What an unkind person. Should I just leave? No, seaweed directly from here would be better for cooking. I'll have to try my best to convince him. Uh, this is a seed that Kazan gave me. Uh, can you please help me? Kazan gave it to human? That's strange. I'm not sure what a human will be 
able to make with the seaweed, but I'll think about it if you can make something that's extraordinary. Bring me a dish made of seaweed. Uh, looks like I have to ask Bancho. So theoretically we can do that afterwards, but I'll have to go back into the ocean. And hopefully be able to uh, kill one more of those crabs. Get that Nautilus. What else was there? What, uh, what did I pick up? The fossils? Uh, oh, so I already had three of them, okay. I have only two out of three. And I am missing the skull. I don't know if I have some sort of time limit on these. So, okay. I don't even want to know how they mix a bun and steam the bun. Underwater. It's so weird to just think about the concept of it. But, okay. I guess I'll just go with it. Won't be able to capture the fanfish, even though I'm for some reason able to swim as fast as that thing. There would be net gun, I would totally pull it off. But the reason why I want to go after the fanfish is that if I would get more krill, or more eggs from it, I can put it into the um, fish farm and hopefully increase the population and therefore they would be able to reproduce themselves and I would have like a steady supply of the fish for the sushi restaurant. This is not the starfish I'm looking for or sea star or whatever the hell did I call it before. a seahorse but I don't know which one has the better stat theoretically I can try to hunt this but I really 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 want to make sure that I will be getting the tuna instead Okay, here's our crab. And maybe there will be skull in here as well. Please let it be skull. Yes! How convenient. Two of these things. Both at the same spot. How awesome. I'll be able to finish off the two quests. Getting olive oil only. I don't think chefs use olive oil cooking sushi. I'll take the meat. Just five kilos, so that will still be manageable. I was hoping for... Uh, the row of the fish. So that's the lake. We dealt with whatever we had to in here. So theoretically, I can just go back down to the village, drop off the two commissions, get that over with. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I'm not really leaving the village too far behind me. I'll try to make it to the surface because what that's where the tuna hangs around and that's the fish that I'm looking to get and hopefully we'll be able to also acquire the rice eventually 
Uh, yeah, we have one more dive to go as well. And during each dive, I have two charges for the drones themselves, so that's pretty damn neat. So let's go drop off the crabs and whatever. So all three commissions are completed for today. I would need to make a dish out of seaweed for the farmer so that he's willing to grow seaweed in here. And I need to fetch tuna. It's still a bunch of things that need to be done overall. Oh crap, that's like a new commission. So what the hell did I just accept? More Nautilus. I have just one, so yeah. But okay, uh, so I think I'm done with the commissions for now. We're gonna have to ask Bancho about the seaweed meal. And I should have seaweed at the restaurant. I was harvesting it, so that should not be an issue. Certain resources and ingredients are harder to come by, like soy sauce and so on and such. Or salt, like those are absolutely ridiculously difficult to be spawned in those cattles or Dutch ovens, which I keep coming across. So that's a little upsetting. I don't see any Nautilus in here. Banfish is not going to be helpful right now. It's, it's a great fish to have and to serve to your customers. Because at like level 2 or something, it's already at like 70 or 80 gold per portion of sushi. So that's pretty damn awesome. I think I'm just reset all these things, but it's going to be the same crap. I want to hold on to that oxygen tank just to be on the safe side because it can save my sushi. And I keep getting into quite dangerous situations. So why the hell not? I'm looking for a pink seashell and some starfish. I think it was the orange starfish. So if I'll be able to get those, I'll be super happy. Okay, a jellyfish fragment. Maybe it's left over from seaweed collector turtle 8. Let's follow it. Okay, screw it. Let's get the Nautilus, I guess. One in Rome. And yeah, it's actually true that turtles are capable to, of eating the jellyfish. Not really sure what nutrients you get out of jellyfish, but it is what it is. Guess I'll grab the opal. Rare deposit as is, so it would be a shame to not take it. Careful around this knucklehead. Okay, uh, no. I can crush it with the stone, but I don't want to bother. A fossil. I still need the fossils for the Marinka or what, what's it called thingy. So, I, th I think I found it. Oh, this must be the seaweed collector's house. I heard something from inside. I should open the door and go inside. Go to brand new region. I mean, it's supposed to be someone's home, not a new region. No? Oh, oh please help me. Donna might be eating something weird. She's going crazy. She's been gobbling up jellyfish. Something's wrong with her. Oh, Hila. I guess now it's no time to judge. Please help. Uh, what do I do? I have to catch her and try calming her down. What do you mean I have to catch her? This is a leatherback turtle. How do I catch her? I feel like if I touch her, I take damage. Oh crap. Well, that was tricky. Okay, I did not know what to expect there. Okay, 
Okay, seems to be a little bit calmer now. Oh man, she ate a plastic bag instead of a jellyfish. This must belong to humans. Uh, it's a plastic bag. Who would throw something like that into the sea? Thank you, human. Now I'll be able to gather seaweed with Dona again. Phew, what a relief. Almost shocked by a plastic bag. That was close call. Anyways, make sure to relay this message to the humans. Tell them to not throw such things into the sea. Fishing to make a living is understandable, however, I don't understand why they need to throw away such Whoa. things. If they throw away such uh, horrendous things again, I'll give them a taste of my half moon kick. Whoa. Damn. Seems like an impressive move. Well, looks like everything's taken care of. I'll have to visit Mima's restaurant later. <laughs> well, good thing Donut calmed down. He has quite the appetite. Good turtle. Okay, so that has been taken care of. And even our oxygen is somehow maintained inside of his home. So I guess we're coming across more and more spots where the oxygen is not being depleted. Which I'm thrilled about. have ammo I can shoot the jellyfish just to get rid of them I think this location has been completely reset by me going into the village so I might be able to come across more turmeric or olive oil I would honestly kill for like soy sauce or something different Tumor, god damn it. I see another spot with more stuff. I don't want the jellyfish, honestly. I can capture them with the net gun alive and get far more out of them. a blue shell i need a pink one nautilus nautilus is over there too i want to hold on to those drones for the tuna honestly so that's why i don't want to even interact with the shark i have the pickaxe so i can grab these crystals Amethyst. That's again our grenade launcher. So I need to. This should allow me to actually have now officially access to the grenade launcher. That's the pink one. That's one of the commissions complete. And I need the orange one, I believe. Soy sauce. Awesome. can make it to the surface uh, seashells I don't care that much about rope I definitely do need so I will have to crush that stupid fish I don't want the fish. Okay, orange is yes. That's the one I need. I'm not gonna waste a freaking grenade launcher on this knucklehead. I 
stuff leave. And I'll get rid of it immediately. It's not that valuable and I wanna keep as much space free as I can. Okay, seriously, do I have to keep crushing these knuckleheads over and over again? I haven't learned their lesson. Crap, I screwed up that one. Kill it. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely have to get rid of this one. 74 kilos. Again, flashlights. Don't need the glass for anything. At least I don't think so. Nautilus. I think this will get me to those five pieces that I need. The better scooter would be nice. Still have oxygen, still have the tank. Tiger shrimp, of course. Not even gonna question that. There's a freaking tiger shark. Right above me. Crap, I'm starting to think that that scooter would have been a good thing to have. It's just awkward as hell. such a stupid space. There's the ammunition down there so I can just go restock up and keep shooting the grenade launcher at the tiger. I'm at 76 kilos as is. Uh, I'm overcumbered as hell. Yet I still want to hold on for the tuna. Seaweed. So much seaweed. I think I'll drop the glass. Uh, let's see. Spotted seahorse, ground seahorse. I don't know what are the stats on these seahorses. That's the problem. I can theoretically drop the spider crab. So that's gonna get me back to uh, speed at which I can operate with. Is that a pink seashell? Or brown seashell. That's a brown seashell. We need a pink one. This fish is useful, but I don't really want to go with grenade launcher after them. It serves the purpose when you are dealing with something like a stupid shark. But even that you saw that wasn't the most efficient thing. At the end of the day, there's our orange starfish. Still need two more. Don't know if I want to mess around with the currents, so especially if I do not have... Stuff that I need and I could have sworn I heard the tuna just now. That's why I kept the drones. Because if the fish group has like five to how many? It's three now. Crap. Trying to hit these knuckleheads like this is gonna be. 
gonna waste my entire ammo. I haven't hit any goddamn thing. What the hell is that thing? That's certainly new. Eh, I can theoretically use up the oxygen from here. But I have no clue how to deal with the. What the hell is that? Okay, striped catfish. Some sort of new patch or update has been again released. Yeah, I'm terrible. Uh, I'm not sure if the. I'm using here is gonna deliver the results. Okay, so you up the tuna. What the hell? I don't know what these things are triggered with. levels how low I am now because they keep punching into me I keep thinking of like a total dumbass okay what the fudge did you just do there I want to pick up even this so I have no clue what this fish is I feel like they definitely switched up the biome on me or something. Probably have to go pick up some oxygen now. If that's even possible for me. And I'm gonna have to run out uh, to the surface because this is just too bad. Are you telling me there's even more freaking tuna? I need oxygen. If I'll get oxygen, I might try to screw with more tuna fish. There will be an oxygen tank in here. I'm um, saved. Of course, they're gonna give me the dumbest thing ever under the sun. Seriously? There's the oxygen. Oh crap! Oh crap! I killed myself! No! <laughs> I'm such a dumbass! I fucked it up. I fucked it up so badly. No. Why did I do that? Th this is a proof that I'm a total idiot. Stupid grenade launcher. And now I am missing the third piece so I cannot have the weapon at the start. Why do I always fuck up these things so badly? No, oh, it actually counts. Interesting. <sighs> Freaking hell. Oh, well, at least I used the damn drone to pull out stuff, but damn, that's bad. Hmm. That That's a huge fuck up again. Yeah, let's go talk to Boncho about this. I still have one more dive to do. Damn it to hell. I'll go and feed the cat. Oh, only once per day? Okay. Are you exercising? All energy comes from the muscles. Opening only for the evening, but I'm too exhausted at such late hour. Phew, working isn't easy. Whatever it is, I do it every day, hundred times a day. 
Cuisine made with seaweed. A simple dish using seaweed will not leave a strong impression. They probably have that at the Sea People Village. First bring me seaweed, white rice and sea urchin. I'll give them a harmonious blend of ingredients from the land and the sea. White rice, sea urchin and seaweed. I'll have to try gathering those. I don't know, I can fuck. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha it sucks! Why did I fuck it up so much? Enter the cave. Uh, I need the white rice. Find baby whale. Return to Nima. Seaweed, white rice. Deliver the Nautilus. Ah. Uh, sucks. So much. I'll check the farm and the... Uh, still seems to be the same. God damn it. God freaking damn it. I'm pissed off because of the opal and all these other things. Uh, and like... Stupid, stupid thing. God damn it, that pisses me off just so much. Uh, this is exclusive item you'll only find at Cobra Shop. Steel net sensor trap. A bigger or stronger net to catch large fish. The net is automatically released when the sensor detects any movement. Captures two fish at the same time. Okay. Uh, underwater cargo box that can be installed underwater. Acquire item that can be stored inside. Stored items will automatically be retrieved upon leaving the water. Oxygen tank expansion one time use. So this is the item which I am able to throw in and it's able to capture the tuna and pull them out. If I would be able to capture like two of them, that would be great since I effed it up so incredibly well. So excited. So excited. Uh, I mean, I don't know. What is my goddamn weapon of choice? It's this, huh? I've even lost some cash. A little bit upset. Okay, so the overpopulated invasive fish. I was able to get one and I need to get like 30 more of the striped catfish. I need grape, sea grapes and seaweed. And I need one more pink seashell. And those orange starfish. Yeah, because I effed it up and I wasn't able to pull out the things. You know what? Let's dive in. Hopefully I won't fuck it up too much now. It pisses me off because if I would like lose at the start of the fishing expedition or diving expedition i don't care because i have not accumulated this wealth of ingredients and resources but now it kind of effed up this way it's a bit problematic he wanted sea urchin too okay a high quality cat Food on the surface like this. Interesting. Definitely hear the tuna somewhere. I just want to use the trap in a way that will not capture other species of the fish. So if I drop it somewhere around here. Oh crap, that actually worked out. I was able to capture two tunas, each from like different species. Maybe if I would time it the right way, I can do this one more time. Just have to keep pushing the fish away. Just... I think this tuna is uh, trickier to pull off. Then the yellow fin. 
barge. I was really hoping to get two of them. But it's three tuna fish. And I... But I've used up the drone. Yeah. That sucks. Let's see if we can get the sucker. I don't care that the quality is gonna be reduced, I just want the tuna meat. Freaking hell, this thing is fast. I was even able to hit it with a bat. Didn't do jack squats. Yeah, I've already used up my drones, but that's three tuna fish I was able to pull out, so that's pretty damn impressive. Definitely changed up the biome slightly, I think. Uh, I'll take the shock thingy. Get there to the harpoon these knuckleheads, but it's gonna take a whole bunch of hits. We need more ammunition. What the hell is wrong with you? Just hit the damn thing. Okay. So by slicing and dicing these knuckleheads, I'll do the invasive species quest. And this is the idiot that got me the last time. Holy crap, this thing is fast. We're gonna die for that. Do you know how much crap I have lost because of you, stupid stingray? Stupid stingray. Let's refill that oxygen bar. Try to deal with the tuna. Man, I'm so glad that that one... At least that one hit works and I was able to capture two of them. So overall, three tuna fish were able to be caught just... Thanks to one lucky hit. I'm slightly paralyzed. Okay. Now I at least know the risk because I'll be moving around with the tuna in my pocket. So if I F it up. Well, then, it will be my own damn fault. I'm kind of even avoiding these fish for now, even though they're like great fish to have. I really just want to make sure that I'm having successful service at the restaurant and I'll be able to acquire a lot of money so that I can upgrade the carry capacity and the other nonsense that needs to be done. White grief shark meat. Did I just hear the baby whale? Maybe it's the sound. <laughs> Yes, that's the sound of baby humpback. Well, how the hell do you talk to me right now when I'm not calling you? Is there a radio in this scuba suit? Please take a look around. There must be a baby whale nearby. Okay, so I'm somehow being guided in that general direction down there. So I guess I'll have to take it. Don't have a choice on this subject. What the hell is that? 
Ah, the crank sounds coming from behind the pile of rocks. And those stones need to be removed to enter. Okay, so whales need to breathe oxygen. So if a whale was stuck behind this, it would get suffocate. Uh, like if it, it would suffocate. Okay, they've all been removed. Let's head inside. I, I see Tiger Shrimp and my brain goes Moon Shrimp. Let's go see if we can rescue Baby Whale. How the heck did you get inside of this cave, buddy? Wow, there's a baby whale in there. Uh, it seems frightened. Should I go and comfort, uh, comf, comf, comfort it? Maybe play the audio or something? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Oh, it's a good whale. I think it's still a bit scared. Should I pet it a little? on your belly or your chin come on Bubba who's a good baby okay try coming with me I think it's less scared now let's keep on petting it okay I don't want it to fall in love with me but I'll do it if it helps poor creature How much bedding does this guy want? I mean, I'm the same way. If you scratch my back, I absolutely love it, which is weird about me, I know. It seems to have let its guard down. If we go to brighter area, the mom should come right. I need to be careful bringing it back up. Okay, so do I need to, like, protect it from predators, or what's the dealio? Barracudas! There's vicious barracudas in the way. I have to get rid of them for the baby whale to follow. Seriously? It's a barracuda. But okay. Phew, everything went okay. I'll throw the barracudas out of my inventory. Low quality due to the uh, use of the fire weapon. Still have five rounds. There's magazine down there. Oh my god, what the hell is this? This place is full of lionfish. Since the baby whale is timid, I'll have to get rid of them first. Great. Right. the fish with the sword and I just got caught 20 fish with melee weapon achievement for it okay I'll throw away all the lionfish because it's all in horrible quality and it takes up a crap ton of space in my inventory I'll go grab some ammo just to be on the safe side Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Give you some time to catch up. Ah, oh, crap. Shark. Of course. Oh, there's a white reef shark up there. Unless I defeat the shark, the baby whale is not going to follow me. Great. I can hold on to the shark meat, however. A lot of vicious predators. It's almost at the surface level. We need to go a little bit more. I might have more heads so I can make the dish with the shark head. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is what it is, so let's just go with it. At least we know that in the Asian cuisine they don't waste any part of the body or something. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Oh, 
Ew, that was dangerous. Took it looks a bit safer here. Wait a bit for mom and she should come. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Shark attack formation? Oh, sharks, what do I do? Yep. That's not really what whales would do, but I take it for the video game. Maybe take a photo of the whales? Okay, how's the baby able to keep up with its mom? <laughs> she barely moved her fence. Wow, it's huge. That's mother's love for the offspring. I guess all animals are the same. I feel like I should text my mom later. Okay, Ellie is calling. I see. I'm glad you took it to its mother. It wasn't easy, easy getting it out. I got so easily frightened. Maybe it didn't like you. That's all. Yeah. Anyways, don't spend all your time hunting. Try to be more helpful. Hey. What's up, buddy? That's awesome. Okay, I just got a reward Poseidon. I'm not really sure what does it do, but I'll take it. So I was able to capture quite a lot of tuna thanks to the thing. So I was able to get a ridiculous amount of stuff. Yellowfin tuna roach, uh, sheep's head row, stingray row. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Udo is calling. Sir, I'm ready to take pictures of manta rays. They hired some lighting guys and made them set up lightning fixtures at the right places. I must have spent some money. <laughs> Uh, one can pass up opportunity yeah. like this. They told me that the lighting fixtures were set at depth of 20 meters. Can you please check them out? Yeah. I expect awesome pictures then. Yeah, so here's the thing. Uh, if I go right now to check up the light fixtures, I will lose portion of the night which can be dedicated to the service. And because I want to upgrade the, the cargo capacity minimum next, I definitely need to make at least two grand. And that's that, that's that means a full night of service. So I'll probably go to the sushi place and we will do a full, a full night service. And maybe after the uh, VIP guest, and after the uh, tuna event, we can deal with the night photos. So research, do we have the flame? Yes, we do. Okay, I have no idea what do I need for these meals. And let's do one more. So by this logic, a re requirement for the next stage of Cooksta is met, but we will still need to do a whole lot more stuff. So now let's take a look at the menu. So this is the sheep's head sushi. You can enhance this sucker. It's really not that valuable, unfortunately. It's just 19 gold at its basic level. So that alone is not gonna pay the bills. So I'll definitely need to capture more of them or something. Uh, stingray meat is more valuable. 
but it's still quite laughable compared to some of the things which I can make. I mean, just the basic situation here is 162. I have 42 pieces of this. Now it's 160. 182. Try to upgrade these as much as I can. Chitoro. Uh, if I enhance it. I'll make a killing, but the problem is uh, I'll need to make sure that for tomorrow's service I'll have sufficient quantity of tuna in order to serve this. Two hundred thirty-seven, two hundred fifty-six. These are some ridiculous asking prices. Upper shark. This is the fang tooth. Coral trout. I'll have to make sure that I actually maintain the sufficient quantity of these fish for that specific recipe. Okay, Pacific Fin is now at 100, so that's awesome. I guess I can serve that. I'll definitely need to catch more of it. Uh, I need more of the damn shark heads. Uh, we can enhance the reef shark. It's only 52, unfortunately, so that sucks. Twenty-eight for this. Let's serve three of the heads. And enhance greatly the shark, the tiger shark. So let's serve that. have room for four more dishes so this is what i'm talking about like salt is missing mayonnaise don't know how to get that uh wolf eel okay cherry tomatoes probably have to grow them the hermit crab and black vinegar is out i need salt it's just something that i'll need to fetch here I need the big eyed scad, five of them in order to make the meal. Uh, I need rice, I need rice, I need salt. This is one problem which I have with the game and that's that I don't recall these specific ring ingredients that I need and that's really unfortunate. Because I think there's just plenty of great dishes that I would be able to serve overall, but the, those ingredients don't spawn in so frequently. So it's a total freaking nightmare to try and get them. But if I would be able to have, for example, an egg, which grows apparently at the vegetable farm, and uh, if I would be able to get the salt and the other stuff, Mayonnaise, I, I don't know if I need to turn somehow the egg into mayonnaise, so that's gonna be probably some future feature. Something. That's. That remains to be seen. Serve six of those. I guess we can serve two of those. Is there are almost 300. Ten of those. I'll have to make sure to catch more tuna then. If I'm risking this. Because I'm selling the tuna before the tuna event, so... Yeah. Let's uh, take a look at the staff. I have no idea what to uh, training. Cooking is the specialized skill, but you are already doing it. 
Okay, so I guess he's gonna now unlock the cooking skill. What did I just do? Select her? Uh, yeah, okay, let's invest into it. I mean, it's spending money, but it helps me make money. Ingredient prep master. Yeah, he would be better in kitchen, but unfortunately, we need to keep Maki there for reasons unknown to me. Imperial and procurement is horrible. The cooking skill would go up slightly. Let's invest into her so she does not feel like I'm not paying attention to her. Let's open up the sushi place. So I'll try to pour drinks. I'll try to clean up the dishes. But most of the service is gonna be done by my staff, thank god. Perfect pouring. I don't think I'll be able to replicate it, but I'll try. I'll try to give a bunch of wasabi. So he can keep on cooking. I'll take the good service. Holy crap, there's so many moving things. I'm barely able to pay attention to it. Okay, so she's being served. Wasabi should be enough. Holy crap, we're doing really well. Okay. Definitely make a nice profit there. Bluefin Tuna Akami Sushi was the best seller. So yeah, now the question is if we have the day when the Michael... Yeah, okay, so Yacht Party and everything is happening today, so... The rice has already grown. There's an... Odd energy to its re to this region. Come over to the farm. So nice. The rice has already grown. Let's try harvesting it. Removing these things. I have no idea what's that beeping noise. Harvest complete. You've got the hang of harvesting now, right? Mm. Yes, but can I plant more rice immediately after harvest? Uh -huh. Well, the land needs some time to recover, you know? <laughs> you just need to wait half a day and you'll be able to plant more rice. Um. In any case, rice this quality should satisfy that director guy as well. Mm. I should get this to Boncho. Thank you, Otto. Um. Come by every now and then to manage the land. It'll be such a waste of four crops to fall victim to insects. You need to remove the weeds to restart the farming. I have done that. So I don't know if I can open up this flow of water. But yeah, we have 8,399 gold. And I think I'm going to spend the 5,500 for the upgrade of my backpack. But we have done quite a lot. So let's take a look at the farming reports. So nutrition is now at 80. And I have no idea how much rice did I harvest. But yeah, uh, I'll probably try to purchase again the... Crap, I don't see the damn thing here. I was really hoping I would be able to... Uh, get one more charge for that uh, thing, so I'll be able to theoretically 
once again capture the tuna in the seal net. That doesn't seem to be the case. So, Marine Eel, Tiger Shark Tooth, worth 200. Sell the shark teeth, that's for sure. Silver Bowls. I don't know if I need them for anything, but it's worth a lot of money, so there's that. Use to enhance weapons. Uh, yeah, we have quite a lot of stuff. So, that's going to be it for the episode. I really do hope you all did enjoy it. On the next one, we're going to have the Tuna Knight and the, the uh, VIP guest. So, all of that is going to happen next time. And if you want to know what the channel is currently up to, make sure to subscribe. I recently published the 100 Days in V Rising Secrets of Gloomrod, so you can go check that out as well. Everything is in the video description, and you can check out the channel as well. And if you have any games or things which you would like me to take a look at, let me know through the comments. I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day, and hopefully I'll see you all in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all for watching, and bye-bye for now.